All right, what's good, everyone? Now I'm gonna do a FPS test, an updated one, and I'll show my settings as well. I'll show my settings first, because a lot of you have been asking for my settings. But anyways, they're all in low, 80%, 3D resolution, high meshes. The RAM, the new RAM makes me uh, run the performance mode way better, like a lot better. It's not glitchy at all. All these are off performance mode yeah you guys have been ask, asking a lot and I usually just cap it at 200 now with the new uh, RAM but anyways I'll cut to when I'm in the game all right so now I'm in creative and it gets like 200 frames in just the hub like when I look up it gets steady 200 let's put in a map real quick But I know you guys wanted to see my settings, so I just showed you. That's all the settings I have. I haven't changed them, but there's a lot of new people. But anyways, I'll cut. All right, I loaded up into BHE, just like last time. Let me put it on unlimited, so it's not at a cap. If you guys remember last time, I don't, I don't really remember, not gonna lie, but I know it gets like 20 more frames now. Like on box fight maps, it gets 200 pretty consistently, when I'm not streaming at least. It gets pretty good. And there will be a link for the RAM, by the way. Everyone's really smooth, and my performance mode looks really good. Like the bubble wrap builds, they look fire. Yeah, but anyways, now I'll show you how I installed it. I just wanted to do this first, just so, because everyone wanted to see. So yeah, I will see you in real life now. Yo, by the way, this is a voiceover, but anyways, first make sure your PC is off. And here I show you how to unscrew and take off the glass because you never know what some people might not know. I didn't know fully. You have to get a screwdriver to loosen it, but I just made it easier for me for the video. But anyways, I'll let you watch. So yeah, as you can see, there's only one stick of RAM right now and there's only two slots in this motherboard. It's because of the PC. But anyways, I show you how to take it out properly. There's only one clamp and you pull from the top. The bottom one's just like a false one. Alright, so now I'm showing you the RAM that I'm going to be putting in. It has 32 megahertz. Yes, my motherboard can handle it. I looked it up, don't worry. But here I show you how to put it in properly. You have to hear two clicks when you put it in and you have to use a little bit of force. Like more force than you would think actually. Because if you don't put it in properly, then it won't display anything. I had problems with that. And I don't want you guys to have the same problem. But anyways, it should clamp itself in. If not, just tighten the clamp. And yeah. Now I show you me putting in the other stick of RAM. It's literally the same thing. They just go right next to each other because... Well, if you have four slots in your motherboard, then you put it in the first and second channel. Or not the first and second, the first and third. But this one, this one only has two slots, so you just put them right next to each other. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, this is how it looks like in the PC, as you saw in the beginning. And make sure it displays something on the screen. Here I'm going to show you a pops up windows. That's how you know it worked. Yo, what's good everyone? Now I'm going to show you how to actually test that it worked. You type in task manager. And you go to performance. Hold up, let me move it over here. You go to performance. And in memory, it should say 16 gigabytes. And as you can see, I, I put in 3200 megahertz. But it only runs 2,400, 2, my bad. 
but I get the max at least, so it doesn't really matter to me. But anyways, thanks for tuning into the channel. I hope we hit 1K before my birthday, June 25th. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe, of course.